once in a village, lived a rich man who had everything but still would get upset about small things that would make him uncomfortable. He loved gardening very much and had planted all kinds of flowers in his garden. As spring came, midst of all beautiful flowers, he saw that some wild flowers were also grown in his garden. Seeing those wild flowers, he got sad. He did not want them in his garden. He uprooted those wild flowers and threw them away. But after few days, those wild flowers grew again. Rich man thought, why not use medicine on them? He called an expert. Expert told him that if medicine is used in garden, it would wipe out wild flowers, but also fake flowers he had planted. One day, the rich man was sitting sadly in his garden. Just then, a monk passed by his house. The monk stood outside the rich man's house and asked for arms from him. The rich man invited the monk to his garden with great hospitality and gave him food to eat. After receiving the arms, the monk asked the rich man the reason for his sadness. The rich man pointed to the wild flowers grown in his garden and told the monk the reason for his sadness. Monk smiled and said, My dear friend, you did not wish for these wild flowers, but now they have become a part of your garden. You can be happy only by accepting this as it is. If you love flowers, then you have to accept thorns too. Rich man understood what the monk said and after that day he was never again bothered by those wild flowers grown in his garden. see in our lives, then we will find that where there are flowers, there must be thorns too. Where there is happiness, there is also sorrow. Along with good things, bad things are also included in the essential rule of life. Where many things are good, but some unwanted problems and troubles also arise in life. Both are part of life and both are incomplete without each other. Because if there is no sorrow in life, then how will one feel happiness? Yes, we must make efforts to get rid of our sorrow. But if, even after taking many measures, there is no solution to sorrow, then it should be accepted as an important part of life. And this is the best way to live happily.